Hi, this is a demonstration of how to cast YouTube TV. Now, this thing here is my um, iPad that I'm using, as you can see. And I'm going to go over here to where I keep my Google apps, which is right here. And I'm going to open up what I've got. Chromecast, you've already installed that. That is the thing that controls the actual device on your TV. And then here I have regular YouTube and I have YouTube TV. So I'm going to open YouTube TV. And by the way, if you're in YouTube TV, it will also search things that are on YouTube. So if you look for something that's not on YouTube TV, it will also search that. Okay, so this is your home screen that it brings you to. See, it says home. Right here you have your library, and those are the shows that you watch or you follow and you record. Home is crap that they're pushing at you, but it, a lot of it's based on what you already watch. But like, I don't watch the Today Show. I am going to be watching the Olympic skating, which I have recorded. So, you know, I mean, it's set to DVR, so I won't miss any of the ice skating events. And um, and then anyway, that's that's what's going on live. These are things that aren't that I normally watch, but a lot of times, if you don't have a lot selected, they're going to show you what they want you to see. So. Um, if you hit live, again, it's not really going to be personalized. Actually, it is. I don't usually do it this way. That's why. Um, like, I don't watch SWAT or How to Get Away with Murder or all this other crap over here. Um, so that's why I don't, I don't watch this garbage either. I do watch these news things, which that's what's on right now, I guess, the local news. So... I'm going to go back down here, which these are always here. Okay, library. And, of course, at any time, you have your search button right here. So you can search. This is your ID. That's me. Um, and then this is the cast button. This is the button that, just like in the PBS Act app, you can cast to your device. We have two TVs that have Chromecasts in the house. So there's the living room TV, and then there's the TV in the man cave. So, let's say these, now, again, we're in the library. And this library is the shows that I watch, that I record. And um, I will show you how to add to your library. But, like, for example, I always watch Dateline. Um, I also watch uh, Kavut. Well, I don't always watch that, but... You have unlimited DVR, so you can put as many of these on there as you want. But let's say I'm going to watch, oh, Laura Ingram. She's pretty good. Well, where is it? Well, that's interesting. Huh. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I pull it up. So it's going to start playing on your device, which would be your iPhone, usually. But in this case, since it's in my library, it just shows all the episodes. Like you said, it says, uh, okay, these are the ones that are recorded that I can watch. And it also tells you if you've watched it or if you're in progress. That red bar at the bottom means I'm, I watched most of that show to that point. This one I haven't watched. I don't watch every single one of them. If you've watched the whole thing, it will gray it out and say watch. But you can still click it and watch it again. Um, the new one is always the latest episode. And this was last night. And this was tonight, I guess. I don't know what, what day it is. Yeah, see. And then it also shows you your upcoming episodes. Now, if I want to watch it, all I got to do is click on it. And it's going to start playing 
but again I want to watch this on the TV now this being an Apple device this is I'm gonna pause this for a sec these things up here this is your Chromecast cast to your TV this is if you had an Apple TV which you don't so that's those are expensive and they suck so I'm gonna hit the that one to my cast to the TV set and then these by the way this is my screen background like a screensaver it is set to um, to use uh, pictures that I took this is when we had our big snow here and it just scrolls through them to keep your screen safe when you're not watching it okay. just in time for Mardi Gras full of great guests great time now I just casted it to the living room TV and then here you go now it's pulling up ready to cast now every so often because I have a bazillion devices here um, in my house I have issues okay so that's your Laura Ingram okay so so that's how you do that a lot of this you'll just kind of need to just sort of get used to using but let's say that you're going to add a show because you don't have any shows probably that you're going to follow so let's say that you like to watch i don't know um they give you they you can browse shows movies family or by networks these are the networks that are available on youtube tv um Let's say, hey, oxygen. That they're adding new stuff all the time. Yeah, these. We TV. That's kind of new. Let's say the Smithsonian Channel. Although there's nothing on there that I actually watch, but I'm just doing this to show you how this goes. Okay, this is Fridays. 8 to 7, Inside Windsor Castle. Okay, let's say that I wanted to watch this. Let's go back. No, 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 no. We don't want to watch Air Disasters. Sorry, it's... Okay, there. A little bit better for you. Oh, yes. Love this guy. So, if I want to watch... Oh, they're just ads. Let's see if I can go down here and find him. Oh, there you go. Aerial America. Okay, I double clicked that. It shows it. Um, now, let's say that I want to see this. So I'm going to click on this plus. What that does, remember when I told you about the bell? The bell will just remind you. You get a notice when it's on. I don't use that because I really don't know. I don't care because I DVR everything. So I hit the plus button. Now, it says, show added to your library. We will, it, I didn't, it didn't stay there long. And you can also remove it by hitting that square to remove it. Okay, now it's gone. And it says, recordings are watchable until we've stopped recording new episodes. But what you do have should stay. But I'm going to add that back because I actually do like this show. And then there you go. So it will record the upcoming episodes as they air on TV. It's really great. Let's say Windsor Castle. That looks like something that you might be interested in, right? This is on the Smithsonian channel, by the way, which is accessible. Now this one I know I'm going to want. Love David Attenborough. Love him. Hey, no, I don't care about the coronation of whatever but again that might be something that you would be interested in i don't know hey where to go it's hard to explain this now that shows you at the very bottom what's currently playing by the way which is the ingram ingraham angle i'm going to add this uh uh david attenborough find it Well, and also, of course, uh, ew. Mummy's alive. Poor Jeff, let's 